Hey YouTube, this is Q-Girl. I'm on here doing a quick video for you guys just to follow up with you in reference to my video that I made about, you know, my plus size haul and my experience with Ashley Stewart's and also about my little small rant that I had. Okay, so you guys, um, I did go ahead and return the package, okay? So I went through USPS and that was about $21.22, you guys. Um, my husband sent it back and then the first quote that I told you guys about that was like $22 and something that was actually UPS okay so um, after I uploaded the video a couple hours later I noticed that Passion Jones uploaded the video and she did mention some things that I forgot to mention in my video now some plus size stores they carry junior plus and then some they carry you know plus size clothes and pretty much junior plus size they run smaller sometimes at these locations you can find clothes if you're you know if you're not junior plus like some say for instance if you're a 3x it's hard to find clothes you know that match your size if you're in a junior plus store because again the sizes run a little bit smaller so some stores that carry junior plus clothes will be like forever 21 plus um, I would say Agassi 2, uh, Rainbow, and then clo clothing stores like, I want to say, I don't know if Melrose carry fashion, plus I fashion, but Melrose, um, what else, let's see, some, like, department stores carry Junior Plus, I want to say maybe Macy's or Dillard's may have some, I know Burlington has a section for junior plus as well but I can tell you the places that I go to that I'm able to find clothes in sometimes I can wear some of the clothes in forever 21 um, I like sometimes I can find some good pieces at Ross um, I've been able to find some things at Burlington in the past um, before Kato's closed I was able to find a lot of clothes in Kato's in fact I picked up on a lot of sweaters that I've had for years that last a long time and yes they were made in China but they was the fabric was still sturdy and good so I was able to get clothes from Kato's before they closed I hate that they closed but I but your girl cleaned up before they closed but I can find clothes from Lane Bryant Lane Bryant sometimes um, Lane Bryant is really true to size because some places I might be a 22 24 and then some I might be an 18 20 Lane Bryant I'm 18 20 I know that for the most part um, if I'm looking for clothes, I need to find a 3X, okay? That's just some places I might be able to do it too. But for the most part, I'm looking for a 3X because I want to make sure I can actually wear the clothes. Um, sometimes it just really depends on the fabric and the cut of the shirt and everything. It depends on what size you're going to need. So you may not need um, to wear your size and everything. Sometimes you may have to size down. Sometimes you might have to size up. That's one of the risks that you run into when you're ordering clothes online. Um, back to the shoe thing. Yeah, I wear a, a standard size 11. I don't wear narrow. I don't wear wide. I'm pretty much a standard size 11 size shoe. So sometimes I can go to... Sometimes you can find stuff at Raw. Sometimes you can find stuff at Burlington. But it's rare because a lot of people don't carry a size 11 shoe. Um, I've been able to luck up on some shoes from Lane Bryant, but for the most part, I order them online and then I try them on at the store and that determines whether I return it there or not. Because sometimes I've had, I've ordered stuff online and I've had to return things right there in the store and not even take it out because the shoes may be too wide. Now, some of their pointed toe shoes, excuse me, pointed toe shoes, um, that they have at Lane Bryant. I can fit them because the pointed toe shoes sometimes they run a little small and they fit they don't feel tight on my toes because who wants to be walking around with corns flingers and bunions I'm just saying you gotta watch when you're wearing uh, pointed toe shoes okay so um, some of the shoes I can wear now sometimes the sandals may fit too big and too wide and mostly with wide shoes the straps you know I when I go to Lane Bryant and Torrid because sometimes I can wear some of Torrid shoes. Sometimes it's just a chance that you take, you know, 
And like I said, check if you order stuff from the clearance section, you know, you're taking a risk. I would definitely take a look at the reviews and listen to some of the feedback. But you can't always depend on feedback because some people just be leaving crazy feedback on stuff just because it was, they didn't have something in their size or the product sold out. I've seen that. We've seen that on Sephora where products have been rated the same day they came out and there's no possible way the person could have had it. <laughs> so, yeah, sometimes you just have to check the feedback on the shoe or the item. If it runs small, if it runs too big, if it's poorly made, sometimes that, help, that helps. But a lot of people, they don't leave reviews on clothes. So you gotta, you're like taking a gamble, okay? So, yeah, I mean, there's been times when um, I have purchased shoes and, you know, they were on clearance and they were too wide for me and I wasn't able to return them and I just pretty much donated them or they're just sitting here waiting to be donated. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I hate to say, why am I saying um, okay? Anyway, uh... I recently purchased some more shoes from Lane Bryant, so I'm going to pick them up today. I have like two, like a pointed toe shoe, and what well, two pointed toe shoes, and some little booty shoes that I ordered, so I'm hoping I can wear them. I don't know if I can wear them or not, but when I get them, I'll let you guys know. But some of the stores, let me get back on track, some of the stores that have plus size clothing, um, that pretty much is true to size, um, you can find some things in Lane Bryant, you can. You can, you know, they have, I think Blaine Bryant may go up to probably 28 or 30. And if I'm not mistaken, Ashley Stewart's, they may go up to like 26, 28, too, or maybe even 30 or 32. Okay. So, yeah, just to give an example, I'm like 18, 20 in some clothes. In some clothes, I am a, um, I'm a 22, 24. I can tell you that with Lane Bryant, the clothes that I purchased, after Passion, Passion Jones mentioned that some of the clothes, um, some of the companies that sell plus size clothes, I'm going to pause together, they are junior plus. And that's what I kind of felt like when I tried on the Ashley Stewart clothes, that the clothes or the pieces that I selected may have been junior plus. I don't know. When I shopped at uh, Ashley Stewart's in the past, the clothes were true to size. They were always true to size. Always. Okay. So I don't know if that's something that they changed. I really don't know. Because your girl hasn't shopped at Ashley Stewart's probably since, mm, I want to say like the early 2000s. So, yeah. But like I said, Lane Bryant is true to size. Tore it is. Oh, and let me tell you another place where you guys can find good plus size store i mean clothes uh it's hsn iman iman's clothes are too t true to size okay they're true to size uh i've purchased her pants in the past and i love them i love the material i have caught some things on sale on clearance and i'm like yes see for me my style is i'm kind of edgy i like to be comfortable um I like to wear the little shrubs too, and I like to wear pants that are fitted. I like pull-on pants, you guys. I like jeggings. I don't like leggings, but I like jeggings, and I like ponte pants. Ponte pants are like, they're like slacks, but they're kind of like a jegging too, but the material is thicker, and with jeggings, they don't leave any type of, you can't see any, I don't really have a cellulite issue. But with those particular types of clothing, they fit well to the body, okay? It's just like, I mean, for me, if I'm wearing a jegging, I should be able to wear a top that doesn't cover my butt, okay? With leggings, I recommend covering your butt with leggings, you know, because it just looks better. With jeggings, you can wear shirts that stop at your waist, or you can wear shirts like, because I like tunics too. I like to wear tunic tops too, and I like to wear, now what I have on now, it's kind of dressy, and I'm headed to the nail place, y'all, but what I have on now, I look like I'm heading for, a, heading to 
the job or I'm about to go for a job interview. That's the reason why I was trying to find some more casual clothes because it seems like all of my clothes are like business casual. I don't really have a lot of casual clothes to like wear with, you know, like sandals or my Chuck Taylors. I don't really have a lot of casual clothes. Like, let me show you guys what I have on now. Excuse the squeaking of the chair. But what I have on now, I have on this sweater and I have the sweater and I have on some, what do you call these? Um, Argyle pants. They have pockets and everything. And see, I'm 5'6", and I am over 300. A lot of people say that I carry my weight well. I don't know if you guys have ever seen me. You tell me what you think. A lot of people think that I do. Um, but yeah, I am over 300 pounds, unfortunately, but your girl's working on that. Uh, I went through like a stressful period. And I gained, I lost a lot of weight. I lost probably about 60 pounds. And I started gaining the weight back pretty much because I was going through like a stressful time. And I started gaining my weight back. But in the last few months, I've been trying to focus on getting myself back together. And just really trying to think about what I'm putting into my body. I don't always reach for all the you know, sugar and fried stuff and everything. Although, I really didn't eat a lot of fried stuff. But, you know, for me, I'm a night owl and um, I do eat late. So maybe if I stop eating so late and then try to eat more salads and stuff like that, I probably lose a whole lot um, of this weight, you know. So I'm trying to get myself together, you guys, okay? But anywho, uh, that's one of the places I love to shop. I love to shop from, from Iman. And this shirt, mm, I want to say this shirt came from Polly Burlington. The pants, if you guys have a Dillard's Outlet, Dillard's Outlet is bomb, okay? You can find a lot of clothes. A lot of department stores that offer plus-size clothes, when you're spending money, when things, when okay. So when you go to the department stores, a lot of the plus size clothes, of course, they cost more, but they are, for the most part, better quality and they fit better. So, I mean, I have a lot of clothes that I purchased from the dealer's outlet and my weight has went up and down. And for some reason, I've been able to still wear some of the clothes. It's just the way they're made. I guess I can kind of get away with it because, again, the pants that I have on now, I wore them when I was 30 pounds less. So, yeah, because I didn't really buy a whole new wardrobe when I had lost all the weight. So, I kind of try to keep my clothes, like the little staple items, I kind of try to keep things just in case I do lose weight. Um, because, again, my weight goes up. And um, I try to keep clothes that I'll be able to have. Sometimes you can put, like belts on and stuff like that and because I don't you know unless I lose a significant amount of weight like a whole lot I know 40 to 60 pounds it's a lot but sometimes you can still kind of wear the same clothes so yeah anyway so HSN I can find clothes Serena Williams now even though Serena Williams and Iman some of their clothes are made in China they are good quality and they fit true to size, which I like. So I'm always checking there too. I'm always checking for both of them on HSN to see what they have. And Serena, she kind of has some trendy things. And Iman, like I said, I love the jacket. I like the pants. It's just an example of some of the things that I've purchased from Iman, like this here, like these jeggings, you guys. And they have like leather detail on the side like it's genuine leather that, that that's on them so i bought them in black you guys too and i love them and i love wearing these because these are the type of tops you can pair with anything now i also bought these black pants here and i get a lot of compliments because they have like the zipper detail and these are like some more ponte pants and as you can see this material right here this is good if you like leggings and you don't want them to be like the, these are so comfy, okay? These are the perfect pants that you can travel, do road trips in, okay? See, they're so comfy. 
and yet stylish with the gold zipper detail. And it's like, I'm sorry. I don't know why anybody still wears leggings, okay? When you can wear jeggings or jeans or whatever. No. So you guys have seen this shirt before. I bought this shirt here from Rainbow. And it was when I was going to Vegas. So when I was when I went to Vegas in 2015, I was a whole lot smaller than I am now. And I bought this shirt. It still kind of fits, but it's still snug. And I'm like, I'm a true makeup junkie. I had to get this shirt. So this is one of the casual shirts that I do own. Like I said, I don't have a lot of casual clothes. And that's why I was trying to find some online. Now, I did find this at Ross. And this is like one of my favorite shirts, okay, that I wear. And I wore this yesterday. So let me show you guys. I saw this and it was probably like $10. And this particular shirt, let me see. I can't even see where it's made in because the tag is worn off. But um, it's, it could be China. I don't know. But it fits true to size and it did come from Ross. So this is what it looks like. Love this shirt. I compare them with the black uh, leggings with the gold detail. Or I can pair them with some blue jeans. And I have some blue jean jeans too. So I really like that. That's something casual. And so, for me, I like things with patterns. I like I like stripes and everything. Here are some pants that I bought that I wore with a black peplum top in Vegas. So, I try to be trendy, you guys. And I have this top here, which you have to wear like with a tank top. This is just to give you an idea of my style. I like things. And see, it has like the like pleather detail on it. And I can pair them with some of those jeggings. So... I like things like that. This is one of the dresses that I found from Lane Bryant. That's like a staple item that I wear year round. Okay, so this dress here. Very pretty. It has like the racer back detail, you guys. And it also has like the drawstring right here. Because I am short waisted, this comes handy. It has pockets, you guys, like full pockets, okay? And then it has, like, I guess it's asymmetrical. You guys see that? Where it's short on one side and it gets long. I really, really like this. This is one of those pieces that you can wear casual. You can dress this up. This is why I like, I don't know, for the most part, I stay in the black family. I like to wear black and gray, black and red black and blue I, I don't know i just love the color black i guess because um they it makes you slimmer okay and i like layering things for me as a plus size girl i never do like this is kind of a light top but i try to keep my tops dark sometimes and then i may play around with the pants like as far as crazy patterns or i may layer it like with a shrub or some like cardigan if I have a busy pattern like that then this is one of the shirts I'm just showing y'all some random things so you can get an idea of what I, what I like and then if you know where I can get some clothes that you know are affordable and they're nice this is one of the shirts that I purchased in 2015 and this particular shirt let me see where this is made in This shirt was made in the USA. And it's just one of these shirts that you have to layer with a, well, you have to put like a blank tank top on the, what did I say blank? This is one of those shirts that you have to wear a black tank top. And it's really pretty. I like this. I wear this with a shrub sometimes if it's cold. And then it's like one of those tops that you can just wear um, with jeans. I can wear with the black leggings. Love this, you guys. And again, I wore this in Vegas. It's nice, cool fabric because when it's like 107 degrees, you don't want to have too much fabric on you. And this was perfect for Vegas. And look, doesn't take much to put in your suitcase. I mean, it's just thin like fabric. And another piece that's in my closet, you know, that I've worn, you know, since my weight has gone up and down. This is a piece here. I love this dress. 
I bought this dress at Burlington, you guys. This dress was under $10. Can you believe it? This dress was under $10, and this was made in the USA. And it is of good quality. Look at this, you guys. And then it has the exposed zipper. I love items with zippers. I love shoes with zippers. I love pants with zippers. I love tops with zippers. I love dresses with zippers. I just love zippers, okay? A lot of zippers you tell on my purses, too. I will say that. But this is beautiful. See how it goes in on the sides of the waist? It, it offers like a slimming effect. And so, yeah, I, I love this dress. This is this is so pretty. I'll probably wear this again for Valentine's Day. I, I don't know, y'all. I might get something new for Valentine's Day. I ain't gonna lie. Because your girl likes to shop. But here's another staple item that I found from Lane Bryant. And this is from Indonesia. I absolutely love this dress. I have worn this dress to um, weddings, girls' night out, a lot of places, even work. So, yeah, this is cute. You can pair this with a shrub. A shrub is like one of those little short cardigans that you can wear that may come out right here. I like to pair that with... with sleeveless items like this and this is so pretty and girly just this from the dealer's outlet and i've had this in my closet for years you guys this is so pretty you guys and this is made in the usa and it's a size 20 i love it green i've worn this on easter this is like one of my spring dresses i've worn this to work i have like green shoes <laughs> and worn this to a wedding and paired this with glitter heels so church the color hasn't faded it's just a rich green grass green just beautiful and timeless piece that i got from the dealer's outlet so some more clothes that i found from hsn that i want to share with you guys are these pants here and this is serena williams like i said i love jeggings and I love things with zipper details. So, yeah. Very nice. Very stretchy. Doesn't show your, you know, it doesn't show any cellulite or anything. They just fit very, very well. And let's see where they're made. Okay, so these pants, let's see. guys these pants they don't show where they're made so i don't know what country they're made in so but they're a good pair of pants good sturdy fabric like them so then i purchased this outfit here you guys from serena williams on hsn and this is just like a, a cat suit you guys it has pockets you guys it has zippers now with this particular outfit you can zip it down the front as low as you want you can use the zipper in the back to zip it down as far as you want too so this is a cute jumpsuit i love it and look at the pants leg this is beautiful it's of good quality this is a 3x and this is made in vietnam okay so and it's a 3x like i said i really don't like cat suits because i'm short-waisted and it is hard for me to find one that flatters my figure because i don't have a lot of hips and don't have a lot of butt so it's kind of hard for me to find one with this the cut of the material the way she made it because of this here it works for me really nice you can pair this with heels i even wore them with pointed toe flats a pewter color because of the silver detail with a shrub and it was bomb i just wanted to show you guys a couple items from my closet just so you can get a gist of what i like i like things i like stripes I like things that are fitted. I like jeggings. I like nice fitted sweaters like this that hug your curves. Pieces that can be worn pretty much anywhere. And they're like staple items that you can wear year round. So that's all. For these stores, you know, they offer Junior Plus, but they don't really say it, you know? So you go in and you try these items on and they're just so tight you can't even get them over your head <laughs> again good places to find clothes hsn 
you can go to Burlington, you can find some things at Boss, and then you can also um, find things at Lane Bryan, and you can find things at Ashton Stores, but I recommend that a lot of these stores that you have access to, to go into the stores, take a look at the clothes, look at the cut and everything, and then determine, because you can always look at the stuff in the store and then purchase the items online if they're online and then take advantage of Ebates because Lane Bryan is on Ebates and so is Ashley Stewart so just a little FYI and also Torrid too so yeah that concludes this video you guys let me know if you have any additional questions or concerns have a wonderful day bye